Hi everyone, this is Rain. Today I'm going to be doing something I've never done before. A book haul. I'm going to be showing off all the books I got this year alone. It is a big giant stack. And I even have like a couple up here. One I'm currently reading and two I didn't want to get dirty. Because I love them. So Let's begin with... Um, well, we'll just start with the ones that I just got today, or at least one of them that I got today. We have Homer's Odyssey, A Fearless Feeling Tale, or How I Learned About Love and Life with a Blind Wonder Cat by Gwen Cooper. I haven't read it yet, so don't spoil it for me. And we have... A Street Cat Named Bob and the World According to Bob by James Bowen. I enjoy these. Cats and Daughters, They Don't Always Come When Called by Helen Brown. About her life with little Jonah. Just adorable little Jonah. With his particular quirks. Then we have, Are We Smart Enough to Know How Smart Animals Are? by Franz D. Wall. I read all of it. It was very interesting. I just got this today. Close to the show. Or, not today, a little bit ago. A few days ago. The Terrifying Attack, Shark Attacks of 1916 by Michael Capuzzo. Figured to be an interesting read. Then also at the same time I got the other one, The Snow Leopard Project and Other Adventures in War Zone Conservation by Ale Alex Degon. Again, if I butcher anybody's name, I'm sorry. Here's the book I am currently reading, Nacho Average Muda by Maddie Day. Sorry for the glare. Very bad lighting. And then we have by Gina Showalter, the Lords of the Underworld series, The Darkest Torment, The Darkest Promise, and The Darkest Warrior. I know they're out of order by one, but yeah, it basically goes like that. Totem. They're strained back up. Never know. And then by Nal Nalini Singh. Hostage to Pleasure, Branded by Fire. These are part of her Psy Changeling series. I just recently got them. Well, not recently, like a few months back. Then we have Earthsea, The Tombs of Otwan by Ursula K. Le Guin. I wish I had gotten into these a little sooner, but I'm enjoying them now, so that's what counts. Yay. And we have Ralph Compton, The Virginia City Trail. I did not do that, I swear. It was like that when I got it from the bookstore. Or from Dollar General. Because sometimes they have interesting books for $3 there. Then we have The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. Yes, I got the TV series cover. At least it's a cool cover and it doesn't really have like too much tie-in. And then also by Shirley Jackson, we have always lived in the castle. I haven't read it yet, so I'm looking forward to it. Especially with Halloween coming around soon. Then we have The Incredible Journey by Sheila Bunford. I also have the hardcover co edition. I don't know if it ever came with a just jacket, but honestly, I like it this way anyway, so yay! Works for me. Then we have Jacob's Girls by Tara Taylor Quinn. That's quite a mouthful. And Lisa Klepas, Marion Winterborn. Elizabeth Beverly, You've Got Mail. Hooray. Got it from a used bookstore. Susan Elizabeth Phillips, just imagine. 
Midnight Rider, Cat Martin, one of the few good editions that I got from a Dollar General. Julia Quinn, First Come Scandal, I got it from, I think, Walgreens. I mean, I buy books from anywhere, if they sell books. Elizabeth Hoyt, The Leopard Prince. And then we have Mercedes Lackey from the 500 Kingdoms. Fortune's Fool and One Good Night. Although I think they're supposed to be the other way around, but shh. I won't tell if you won't. And then we have her cowboy groom, Trish Milburn. This we got when um, somebody was donating food over here and they gave this to us. I'm like, okay. <laughs> You assume people read. Just kidding. Then we got Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Melville. This, I believe, I got from... Goodwill. Yeah, uh, very messed up cover because... Somebody decided to put the sticker right here, so that's why it looks all crappy. And then we have Charles Dickens, Great Expectations, have not read it yet, haven't read any of Charles Dickens' work. A recent crab, Dracula, Bram Stoker, have never read this book except for trying it one time when I was a kid, so we're going to try it soon. And then I have Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, another recent Virginia Hamilton, The House of Desdrear. I have no idea how to pronounce it. I probably butchered it. Yell at me in the comments. <laughs> Who Rescued Who by Victoria Shade. Shade, I guess. I don't know. Shade? I don't know. That was a random C and it's throwing me off because I'm used to saying anything like that, like school. So... My Life in France by Julia Child with Alex, whatever that last name is, I am not going to pronounce it. <laughs> you can read it. <laughs> the Girl Who Chased the Moon by Sarah Addison Allen. I read this yesterday. Read it in like two sittings because I have a life and I can't just sit and read, but I'm... Finished it in one day. Really loved it. And then Julia and Julia by Julie Powell. My Year of Cooking Dangerously. I've seen the movie several times. I'm hoping the book has as much charm as the movie. We will see. The Plague Dogs by Richard Adams. I also have Watership Down, but I got that earlier in my life, so it's not here. <laughs> and then we're going to go into my little horror collection. A Lush and Seething Hell, Two Tales of Cosmic Horror by John Horner Jacobs. I have never read anything by him, so this is going to be a, a new dive for me. Then we have Stephen King, Cujo. Why did they use a German Shepherd's muzzle? I will never know. And then we have Christine, the bedeviled car from hell that can refix itself. It runs on batteries, I swear. And then we have my Unicorns of Balinor series, The Road to Balinor, Sun Chaser's Quest, my favorite, Valley of Fear, By Fire by Moonlight, Search for the Star, Secrets of the Scepter, Night of the Shifter's Moon, and Shadows Over Balinor. Sorry, I've had like a random hiccup thing, and that's why my voice went, oh, here, let me sound like a lamb for a second. And then this is my Briar's version of Black Beauty, and a very beautiful edition of the book Inside the Box. And it shall not leave the box, except for when I want to read it and I don't feel like 
breaking my wrist reading the hardcovers. Don't worry, people, we're almost through. Then we have Light Filters In, poems by Carolyn Kaufman. And then we have the Four Pillow Thoughts by Courtney Papernelli. Papernell. Pillow Thoughts, Pillow Pot. Pill Thoughts 2, Healing the Heart, Pillow Thoughts 3, Mending the Mind, and Pillow Thoughts 4, Stitching the Soul. I actually started with this one and went backwards because I really love the fox and the jellyfish. It was just so cute. I was like, I'm more interested. In. And then I also have I Hope You Stay. This otter is so cute. The otter in space. Loves. And then we have J.T. Ellison, Good Girls Lie. Got this at Walmart. And we have Unsub by Meg Gardner. I got that from Dollar General. Another Walmart buy, John Grisham, A Time to Kill, which is the inspiration for the movie that was made in the early 90s. Yeah. Do not read it if you have a very aversion to very sensitive subjects. Okay. Gone with the Whisker by Lori Cass. Uh, Bookmobile Cat Mystery. I really love this. I kind of sped through this. It took me like two days. And then I haven't read this yet. Sophie Kelly, Magical Cat's Mystery, A Night's Tale. Then we have Dead in the Doorway by Diana Kelly. And this is a house flipper mystery. It's a sequel. And then we have these two from a series. A Fatal Yarn and Knit of the Living Dead. A knit and nibble mystery. They're very cute artworks. By Peggy Earnhardt. I definitely get a little kickle out of... Kickle giggle at a knit of the living dead <laughs> anytime i see a horror movie pun it just tickles me the abc murders agatha christie my first ever agatha christie so i'm not sure if i'll like it or not hopefully i will we'll find out later on when i can get to it to read okay and sorry for the view of my shoes and my cat's lovely toys. And then we have Sasha Lauren's uh, Wicked Magic. I'm very curious about this one because I don't pick up a lot of YA anymore. No Good Deed by Kara Connolly. I got this from 99 Cent Store. Yes, they sell books. Not very many. Whoops. Just throwing stuff around, aren't I? It's like, hey, throw things. We love that. And two graphic novels I bought this year. Cotton's The Secret of the Wind and Cotton's White Carrot. The White Carrot. I'm still waiting for the third one to come out. Look at these beautiful pictures. They're so gosh darn pretty. I'm not showing them off very well because it's very hard to frame with this phone. But yes, they're very pretty. I enjoyed them. And then these two books I got today. Victoria Schwab, Tunnel Bones and City of Ghosts. Or the other way around, City of Ghosts and Tunnel Bones. And then I also got this today. The... A Whale of the Wild by Roseanne Perry. I also have another Roseanne Perry book, A Wolf Called Wonder. And I have Neil Gaiman's Coraline. Have yet to read it, even though I've seen the movie. <laughs> the Unicorn Quest, Secret in the Stone by Camilla Benko. Or Benko? I don't know how to say it. I'm bad with last names. 
Then we have some Warriors, graphic novels, Raymond Paw's Path and Grey Stripes Adventure, which are three graphic novels jammed into one. So this one would have all of Grey Stripes Adventures as the Lost Warrior, Warrior's Refuge, and Warrior's Return. And this would be Shattered Peace, A Clan in Need, The Heart of a Warrior. I like this one more. Because Ravenclaw is my favorite. And I also got Brave Lands, Shifting Shadows. Very good book. Warriors, A Warrior's Spirit, which has three novellas. Pebble Shines Kids, Trees Roots, Mothwing's Secret. And then I finally got the sixth book for the sixth arc, The Raging Storm. And Squirrel Flight's Hope. I just got that the other day. And I got My Secret Unicorn Dreams Come True. I also have... Willow of the Wood by Robert Betty. Serafina and the Seven Stars. Stars. Can't speak today. And then I have a box set of Serafina and the Black Cloak, Serafina and the Twisted Staff, Serafina and the Splintered Heart. And apparently this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. What makes it so exclusive? I have no idea. Whatever. <laughs> And then we have The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Revenue and The Last Life of Prince Alistair by Alexandra Bracken. Then we have Eva Evergreen, Semi Magical Witch, Julia, Julie Abe. I don't know why I want to say Julia. Kiki's Delivery Service by Echo Kad. Don't know? Don't know? I don't know. I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> well, that's not true. I speak a little, but not enough to, you know, be an expert at pronouncing names. <sighs> the Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse by Charlie Maskey. And then we have the Magical Unicorn Society, A Brief History of Unicorns. And the Official Handbook. This comes first because it has seven and the other one has eight. Such a special, special number. Okay. Kind of running out of room. Pet Rescue Adventures, The Secret Puppy and Other Tales by Holly Webb. Got that at Walmart. And I have The Guardian Herd, Landfall, by Jennifer Lynn Alvarez. Glad I can finally finish that series. Then we have The Lost Rainforest, Gogi's Gambit, Elliot Schaefer. And then we have Upside Down Magic, by Sarah Melonoski. Laura Miracle, Emily Jenkins, and I have the first six. Seven is still currently only available in hardback, so that's going to wait until it becomes paperback. Just to match with the rest. Because I have a thing of matching. And there goes some more books. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, we're getting close. To the finish line. Then we have The Unwanted Island of Silence. And then Unicorn Princesses. Uh, Feathers Flight. Fireflies Glow. Moon's Dance. Breeze's Blast. Prism's Paint. Bloom's Ball. Flash's Dash. And Sunbeam's Shine. And then underneath those will be... The Castle Glower series, at least the three that I got this year so far. 
Wednesdays in the Tower, Thursdays with the Crown, and Fridays with the Wizards. A lot of griffins be in these books. And then, I can grab them, drag them over here. We have The Wizards at Once by Chrisetta Cowell, the person that wrote How to Train Your Dragon. Lloyd Alexander, The Foundling and Other Tales of Prydain. Very entertaining. And then we have the trilogy of Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. The Sword of Summer, the Hammer of Thor, and the Ship of the Dead. And we're almost done, I swear. We only got two more books. We have Beatrix Potter, the complete Peter Brabbit. This is such a beautiful edition. Look at the map. It's so pretty. Sorry for the glare. But it's so cute. And there's little Peter in his little jacket. And the turnips falling out of the little scarf. It's so cute. I have been a big fan of Beatrix Potter since I was a little, little tyke. So I'm glad I can finally have all the books. And then this, another blast from my past. Whatever happened to kittens? Anyways, that's my entire book haul. I will probably never do this again because of how much time it takes. Unless I do like very small spurts. But I would probably wait until like at least 30 of them. So it's more worth it. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. See y'all later. Bye.